Virgo, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more Empath Energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy-to-understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business, but he is amazing everywhere. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let us dive right in here. Okay, so let us see what's going on. One more. Beautiful. Okay, so... I feel like right now you're being guided into an opportunity. However, the actual guidance of being guided into this opportunity is feeling a little chaotic right now. Understand that you're on trajectory to achieve what you're looking for. However, there's going to be a process to end up actually getting to where you getting this outcome. The universe is saying as long as you stay grounded and as long as you stay focused on what your desired outcome is, you will be much better off than if you allow the current circumstances of your day to day to influence you. And as an empath, it's very important we remember this because a lot of the times our days we wake up, maybe we're not feeling good one day. Maybe we're not feeling as, as empowered one day. Maybe we're not feeling as, you know, as sexy one day. And then we tend to forget about our primary goal, our primary outcome and then we may make decisions that you know reflect how we feel in that moment and you know there's nothing wrong with that it's always a lesson however then we get frustrated with ourselves we repeat the same patterns and we don't end up evolving universe is saying it's time for you to start to uh, prioritize what is important to you right now Virgo and have it somewhere that is readily available for you to see maybe have a poster up maybe have pictures maybe make a vision board maybe make a have, have something on your fridge, right? But whatever your primary manifestation desire is, you have that so available to you that there is no, no, by means, no reason for you to not remember, okay? Um, it's, again, there's going to be a change of events moving forward, and this turn of events is going to allow you to heal from this time and move you forward even to greater elements, greater greater heights. Um, in, uh, but you gotta remember what you want out of this human experience. You gotta remember, you gotta stick to it. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta keep this energy nice and grounded. You gotta keep this energy nice and clear. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse, but there, it's here. It's here for you, baby. I feel like there's too much feeling of, of doubt. I feel like there's too much scarcity energy moving forward here. And here's the thing, right? Scarcity energy only comes because you're neglecting from connecting to the divine. And it's as simple as that, my beautiful Virgo. It really is. It does not need to be this big complicated thing either of having to connect. It's really just about, even if you just set your timer and meditate for 20 minutes every day, that might seem like a lot if you're not used to it. However, try five minutes. Light a candle and stare at a candle. Primally, when we look at candle, it's like nature's TV, right? When we look at fire, I should say, not look at candle. Um, and so when we're looking at the fire, it, we don't even think, right? It's like our brain shuts off. We're watching the fire dance. Try that because the more that you can get out of your own thoughts, the more you release that resistance, you can breathe and then you can hear what your the divine is telling you through your intuition. Because when we're busy thinking, we're just creating a lot of scarcity energy. And when we create a lot of scarcity energy, we just feel anxiety, we feel fear, we feel overwhelmed. Then we end up trying to feel better some way, somehow, perhaps it's through a, a, a temporary impulse, food, drugs, alcohol, gambling, shopping, whatever it may be, or it may be through just making fearful based decisions, right? FOMO, fear of missing out, right? And in order to uh, get yourself to a place where you are actively creating your life based upon what is important and what is, is what your spirit is asking of you, it is a, a immensely incredible that you take the time to have spirit time each and every day so you get yourself grounded. The most important time is, I would say, is the morning because then you're suited up, armored up for the entire day because the entire day is like a battlefield. Let's be honest, right? This human experience, holy moly, there's always things being thrown at us. So if you are already prepared for the battle first thing in the morning, you got nothing to worry about. You have that belief that you're going to be okay. And it is our beliefs. It is our beliefs that create our reality. It truly is. So if we can create beliefs that will establish success in our life, we are winning, baby. So make sure that you know, beliefs are just a thought that you continue to think. So if there is a belief around something that you feel is not supporting you, change your thoughts around that, okay? And you can do it, it's difficult, but you can do it. It's just about pushing through that dense energy. And that's why universe is saying, have something readily available for you to constantly be looking at so that you can never, so, so that you just, again, set yourself up for that success, right? 
Yeah, because there's huge changes coming for you, Virgo. Huge changes here. But I feel like there's a bit of resistance on these changes. And we feel that resistance. When there are changes coming, we almost feel like then we're trying to... It's, it's like... Okay, it's like... There's changes coming and we're getting all these downloads of what's to come or what's possible. And then we're frantically try thinking we got to we got to put effort into it. Right. We're like, Oh, I could do that and I could do that and I could do that. OK, well, what if I do this and this? And we just we're, we're efforting when we start trying because we've seen a, a vision or we've seen we've, we've we've felt a download. We felt the passion behind it. We're like, oh, this is headed in the right direction. However, unless again, there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a a clear calling or a clear pathway towards it, fruit's not ready to be picked yet. So in that case, then you're just feeling the changes of the momentum of the universe. It's almost like, again, you're feeling what's happening beyond the veil, right? It's not in your physical world yet, but you feel there are changes. That's a very unsettling feeling. It's a very, I gotta do something, I gotta do something, I meant for more kind of a feeling, right? And then we feel like we gotta do something, so we just effort our way and that's when the universe is like just get grounded just find some meditation time get some journaling in go for a walk in nature take some deep breaths remind yourself of being in the now being present because the universe will guide you to where you actually need to go and what you're actually being called towards what's important for you and we only know what truly is going to be important when we remind ourselves that being present in the now is how we're going to see that guidance system not focusing on oh my gosh all these things i meant i should be doing right the shoulds no more shooting ourselves right Virgo we got to make sure that we keep those shoulds tucked away and we got to remember that we're always going to be guided it's a guided it's a receival mode right we want to stay in the receival mode receival mode is peace receival mode is being present receival mode is relaxing meditating because you're going to want to be ready again life is speeding up here we have it right things are transitioning things are moving and you're going to want to know exactly what fruit is ready to be picked. But if we're too busy scattered, our energy is scattered and, and I want this and I want that and I want this, then we're going to kind of forget the main purpose and, and, and what is really most important. And you're going to want to be ready for this. This is going to be big. And again, you want to strike while the iron's hot. But if we are so over exhausted by thinking of maybe perhaps the wrong things, maybe the, um, you know, what we're going to get from something or, um, maybe more of it from a selfish perspective. Generally in life, it doesn't really ever seem to be enough when we think of something from a selfish perspective. Yes, it's good to feel a little selfish sometimes. It really is, right? We gotta take time for ourselves. Sometimes we have to disappoint others because we need time for ourselves. However, when we have an actual act of doing something, when it is, when we're just thinking about ourselves a lot of the time, sometimes that isn't enough. So think about, again, the what the positive outcome will be from the situation that you're looking to achieve. Um, but look at it from, you know, the, to the degree of where you're being guided, right? Don't make up false realities of, well, I might disappoint this person. Look to what will happen if you have your best, if you are your best self and you're putting your best self into the service of where you're looking to go. Think of it like in that general sense. So I hope that makes sense there. Here we have it, electrical eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. This is the green light, Virgo. This is the green light. So understand that all of your ideas are being validated right now. Again, you're gonna have that green light. You're gonna have that go ahead. And you know what, if you're feeling that that energy change beyond the veil and you're kind of wondering okay what where is the where how do i know how do i know if what i'm meant to be doing i have so many ideas they all feel good how do i know ask the universe to give you a sign like bam in your face universe give me a sign of what exactly i should be doing please and then hang tight and let the universe communicate with you and trust me the universe always loves to validate and it's almost the, like the most fun game ever because the universe truly will i once wanted to know who one of my spirit i wanted to meet one of my spirit guides uh, they showed me uh, his name was Abdul 32 from India I love Abdul he's great actually he keeps me really grounded and um so and, and I asked for proof when I first met Abdul I was like okay well this sounds absolutely crazy in my in my mind here so let's figure what this out really is so I asked the universe give me a sign and the next card I pulled was a uh, tiger and the whole write-up was the tiger how it was uh, originated from India the Indian tiger so there you have it that is how the universe will give you a sign so it may be in that exact moment it may be the next day it could be in a couple hours but there will always be a sign and it will be significant it won't be like a, oh riddle check 
try figuring out this riddle, Virgo, it won't be like that. They'll make it very obvious for you. Universe loves you. Universe is always working out for you. Here we have Lion Spirit. This is the believe in your in your soul, believe in yourself card, by the way, Virgo, because universe and spirit has so much belief and so much faith in you and so much and is channeling so much power through you. And you'll only be able to receive this power again when you are in the receival mode. So be present, okay, and 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 feel okay right now with how things are so that you'll get that immediate power surge from the universe to be able to get that inspiration to channel it into the exact direction of what needs to happen for you to get your highest results, best results. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Virgo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.